the last few episodes of Growing Big, we've really been trying to, well, I've really been trying to address some viewers' concerns about spending money on these things. I'm trying to bust the myth that you do not have to spend a ton of money on this stuff, people. If you get creative, you can improve your ground by doing, by spending virtually nothing or very, very little. You know, as I said in that episode, you can go ahead and hang licking branches, which are gonna waste bucks time. You can go ahead and plant scrape trees, which are gonna position them for the shot as well as waste their time. You can do all sorts of edge feathering to create funnels and extra brows with a chainsaw. You can create bedding areas. What we're gonna talk about today, those things at least cost a few cents. You know, I mean, if you don't have a chainsaw, buying a chainsaw isn't cheap. You now, what we're gonna talk about today does not cost a cent. And that is setting aside areas as sanctuaries. By sanctuaries, all I'm talking about are areas that you do not go ahead and go into during hunting season. Or you go into on a very, very, very limited basis. Now, why do deer spend time on gr some ground and not on others? Now, part of it's food, part of it's water. But the biggest part of all, feeling of safety. If you can make the deer feel safe on your ground, they will spend a disproportionate amount of time on that ground, all else being equal. You can go ahead, we talked about a poor man's method of putting in food plots earlier. You can address the food that way. Heck, all it takes is a tub buried, at, uh, buried down to ground level to create a water source. Nothing more than that. So there you've got food, you've got water. Your does are gonna come into your food and water. So now you're addressing that need. Then you go ahead and you make thick, nasty areas or just simply leave areas alone and you have the feeling of safety by creating sanctuaries. Now, my version of sanctuaries versus other people's are slightly different. I do not believe, if I, if I own 40 acres, I'm not taking 30 of it, setting it up as a sanctuary, which is a great idea, by the way, and then never stepping foot in it. No, I'm gonna enjoy my ground, okay? But by the time we get a month before season, I am going to pretty much leave that sanctuary alone. The only times I'm gonna go into it is if I have a wounded deer or if there's a spot in that sanctuary that is an absolute slam dunk, stupid good stand, I'm gonna put a stand there. I'm gonna put a stand there. I'm just going to hope that I never have to hunt it. Put that in perspective for you, on the ground I manage, I'd say I average between 75% and 90% of it is set aside as sanctuary. But I've got tree stands in there. I've got tree stands in there and I'll hunt them once, twice a year, every two to three years. That means one, two years in a row, they're not gonna get hunted at all. Why? Because I'm going to set that property up so I can hunt the outside of it. The low impact areas. And that is going to make the more central areas of my property deer magnets. The deer are going to feel safe there. They're going to concentrate there. Because they feel safe, they're going to move more during legal shooting hours. And with the improvements I've made, I can cut them off at the edges for some examples on how you can do this. For absolutely nothing at all, you can go to food-plots-for-deer.com and you can see sample, sample plans that I've actually made. Now, you can go through our, uh, our client resource where you literally answer all the questions that we ask clients. You can mark up your prop, you can find your property on there on this little module. You can mark it up with all the deer sign, all that good stuff. Just when you get to the end, don't submit your payment information, hit cancel instead. You know, that's a great resource for putting together a plan on how to lay out your property. And then I just got done, I just got done writing a new book all on laying out properties. You know, sanctuaries are huge. They can help you immensely. Do not ignore them. They don't cost you a cent. Grow em Big is brought to you by 
Wildlife Research Center, the gold standard. Reconics, see what you have been missing. Antler King, bigger bucks, healthier deer. The heater bodysuit, you stay warm or your money back. Food plots for deer, planning your habitat improvements and improving your hunting. Verminator, the best food plot implement on earth. Bush hog, performance you can count on. Redneck blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. Sanctuaries really can make a big difference on a property. Deer feel safe. When deer feel safe, they concentrate in that area, particularly when the neighbors are going nuts in their woods. They feel safe, they concentrate, they move more during daylight. And best of all, it doesn't cost you a cent.